beginnings to ruling the dragon's den. Arlene Dickinson is one of Canada's most powerful businesswomen, and she's here to share her tips for financial success. Please welcome once again the beautiful Arlene Dickinson. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you do us all so proud because you're also so modest and humble and sweet, which shows you could be a good person mm -hmm. and do well. You don't have to rule with an iron fist. No, you don't have be to be mean, mean. No, right? Like, like mm. some people. Like some people, we don't. <clears throat> <clears throat> rhymes with Shmeva no Shmiri. Okay, anyway, <laughs> where was I going? I'm kidding. Love you, Kevin. Uh, let's get started with your tips because you're going to help us all. These are easy things we can do every day to save some coin. Yep. And the first one is small change adds up to big savings. You're talking. Pennies, nickels, dimes. Absolutely. My grandson and I had this thing going where I was taking the change out of my purse every day and we were putting it into a bank. And at the end of the year, there was $600. First of all, it saved me from carrying a lot of weight around, but I couldn't believe that that much money was just collecting the bottom of my bag. It adds up to so much. It, it really up. does. Uh, to RRSP or RESP? That's right. That is the question. Well, if you have children, an RESP is a wonderful way to put money aside for their education. education. Savings plan. That's right. And an RRSP is something that you need to do to make sure that when you retire from your high paid Canadian television job that you have, um, <laughs> that you have. <laughs> Is it that an oxymoron, Arlene? Okay, anyway, sorry. Anyway, that, we digress. That, that you can, that you have uh, <laughs> money saved uh, and are able to make sure that you have savings set aside, but it's also a tax deduction. But people worry about that because they say, what if I need that money in a pinch? My child needs braces. Uh, our roof gets a hole in it. There's a flooding in the basement. They're afraid to save anything because they feel like, what if I need that safety net? That's true, but you know, sometimes you do need to dig into your savings, and that's actually the whole point. Okay. If you haven't saved anything, you have no ability to dig into your savings. So don't beat yourself up if you do have to go to your savings, but be really confident diligent. and diligent about saving. Okay. Up next, the 10 80 10 rule, which is a well, measurement? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. 10, 80, 10. 10% um, for yourself. Always save 10% of your money for yourself, which is your savings. 80% is what you should live on. And then if you can, give 10% to charity. Wow. It will make you feel good. It will help your community. But you also get a tax benefit from it. So it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Okay, very cool. Save. Get this. You could do this. Yeah. Four bucks a day. You're suggesting as little as four dollars a day. That coffee from that expensive coffee place that you go to is fifteen hundred dollars a year when you spend four to five dollars a day there. Okay. It's a lot of money saved up. So bring your own uh, in some sort of thermos or yep, yep. use whatever's being made at work and 100%. figure it out. Yep. And I like that you also say if you fall off that money saving wagon, treat it like you would anything. It's a habit, like exercise. That's right. So what you miss a day or two. That's right. Get back on that treadmill. Have Get a goal. Get back on the saving. That's okay. right. Um, also, be smart with cards, as in credit cards. Yes. I mean, cards, we you know, can tend to use them incorrectly, but they are wonderful ways to get cash when you need it or to pay for that small thing that you might need, but make sure you pay it off every month. I mean, the secret to credit cards You mean is the minimum payment? No, the full amount. Pay it off every month. Because people don't realize how much extra they're right. paying every year. Right, right. It's 18, 22, 25 percent right. interest. Whatever the interest rate is, I mean, the, the benefit of a credit card is it's actually interest free money if you pay it off every month, right? So it's a so great way to So if you're getting like that $50 cardigan on sale, if you were to look at it at the end of the year and say with interest, it actually cost me 275 bucks, you'd freak out with interest, right? When you look at all the compounded interest. Right, right. You probably just want to make sure you pay your card off monthly, but use it. Make sure you use it wisely. Seek expert advice, which we're doing right now with you. How do we know where to go? Well, Scotiabank has advisors that you can go to and you can talk to them about your needs. And we're all afraid to ask for help. But at the end of the day, we all know we need help when it comes to financial matters. So don't be afraid to go to the bank, see your Scotiabank advisor. They will give you the tips you need and the help you need to make sure that you get all of the full picture of what your financial situation is and what you can do to save money. And find that person that works well with you because I've sat through some of those meetings and I don't know what they're saying and after I go, I really don't understand what half those acronyms mean. Can you please spell it out like I am in grade three? Because I always it's, say it's that. intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to you want to make sure that you aren't it is your money. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to say, I'm not quite sure I understand what you just told me. Can you yeah. say it in really simple language? And a great advisor will sit with you and make sure that you're understanding exactly what the advice is and what you can do with that advice. Well said. Also, you say set a goal. If you don't set a goal, it's not going to happen. It is not in your consciousness. Absolutely. You've got to save, like I said, $1,500 a year. Think about what you could do with $1,500 a year and then 
keep that in your mind and set a date and say, okay, by this date, I'm going to have $1,500 saved and I'm going to go on a trip. I'm going to go and buy myself a new pair of shoes, maybe three or to four pairs of shoes. Towards. Work towards whatever you want, you know. So having a goal in life is really important. When it comes to saving, it's incredibly important. And Arlene, you use the term work. I know a lot of people look at you and think, wow, you know, she did it. I can't do it. You really came from nothing. They always say the old adage, right? Rags to riches. Yep. It really was the case yep. for you. Yep. And you said it took a ton of work. You didn't know anybody who worked as hard as you did. So it's not just luck and timing. Here's some pictures of you. Oh, Aww. look how awesome. <laughs> Where did you guys find those? All these mouths to feed. <laughs> and it really is. It's not something that comes easy. Yes, there's some luck in business that comes and timing that comes with certain situations, but it's also getting back up from the failures you were told no a lot yeah you were told you can't a lot you know we we are all lucky because we were born in canada so we started off uh, our mornings today in this country so that actually gives us that lucky edge to begin with i feel like for me it was always about trying to figure out how to just get through the day sometimes let alone whether i could save money so don't beat yourself up be positive be optimistic try and get the help you need and don't yeah. be afraid to ask for help so it's, I, I, listen, I, I look back at those pictures and I think, oh my goodness. You did it. <laughs> and you could do no, it too. I think, look at that hair is oh. what I was actually thinking. <laughs> it was a, it was oh a whole day. <laughs> now get this, guys. Speaking of cash, Scotiabank will be giving away $1,500 every week for eight weeks. So what you have to do is tweet about what you would do with an extra $1,500 using the hashtag My1500. Yeah. But we've also got a special chance, thank you for doing this, for you to win $1,500 from Scotiabank this morning. To do that, go to uh, uh, contest, enter daily prizing, and if you've got a question for Arlene, you're also going to stick around between 8 to 9, and we thank you for this. Online, you'll be chatting with our Winston C. Use the hashtag my1500, and everybody taking part, if you get on this right now today from 8 to 9 online, you'll have a chance to win 100 bucks every 15 minutes during the chat just for participating. That's awesome. So that's going to be super exciting. So you're heading off in about 30 minutes. We'll get you a coffee. How do you take it? Uh, lots of milk lots. and lots of coffee. She takes it lots. That's how lots. we take it too. <laughs> so Arlene, and make sure you engage. You can win some cash and get some expert advice from the one and only Arlene Dickinson. Thank you. Come back, please. It's yes. been too long. Yes. It's been too long. Yes. Right now, we're taking a quick break. More breakfast television right after this.